It's the year 2023, and despite a lot of people still having doubts or are uninterested, NFT and play-to-earn games are still coming. That's why here at the Game Mag, we've compiled five NFT games that you can play for the coming months and beyond. Always remember that we are not financial experts here. We're just showcasing the NFT games that might spark an interest in you. So let's dive right into it. Number one, Champions Ascension. Let's start with something that a lot of people like, and that is mindless and brute force combat. We have Champions Ascension, which is a one-on-one -on -one PvP third-person arena fighting game. The concept is simple. You start with a character from a certain race as a challenger. In terms of combat, it is easy to get into because it's just guard or evade your enemies while you're taking your shots to hit the enemy. Several rounds will take place until one is declared the victor. You can also climb up the ranks by doing Ascension challenges. The higher your rank is, the more rewards you can get, the more parts of the world you can explore, and so much more. Now, when it comes to making money, we can enumerate it into three things, crafting, breeding, and staking. Players can craft certain gears and items, and that being said, those items can be sold in the marketplace for money. The other one is breeding, because you can breed certain champions together. The weird fanfiction offspring can then be sold off, making the player some money as well. Staking allows players to stake their Prime Eternals to get tokens that allow them to purchase land. Now, while the aspect of land isn't quite rolled out yet, we can assume that it leads to another method of making money later on. Number 2. Crypto Blades we have Crypto Blades coming in at number 2, which you could consider as the super budget version when it comes to combat. While Champion's Ascension is fast paced and action packed, Crypto Blades is a bit more relaxed. First of all, let's discuss the gameplay mechanics of the game. You have to buy characters that you need to form a team. It is a four-man team, and each of them will have their own weapons and stats. Once you have your team, you can choose from different available modes. You have Combat, which is the PvE mechanic, and Arena, which is the PvP mechanic. Characters have elemental attributes where one is strong against the other. It's basically a rock-paper-scissors style. Here's where the gameplay may or may not be to your liking. It is more like a click-and-wait game. You don't see any animation or visual combat. Once you set your team out to fight, that's it. You'll just wait for the results and see whether you won or not. It's not that exciting in terms of gameplay, but we're here to make some money. The gameplay can suck as long as we have something in return, so how do we make money in this game? One way to make money is to just play combat mode. Doing this allows you to get skill, which is the token of the game. Skill has real-life value, and you can use it to buy some items in the game. Minting your characters can be another means of making money. When your characters get stronger, you can mint them and sell them in the market for skill as well. Keep in mind, you can have a ton of characters and not be able to use them all the time. That's why selling them is also a good means to make money. Staking is the last method of making money, and you already know about that. But if Crypto Blade's gameplay isn't for you, then why don't we head back to something fun and fast-paced again? Number 3. Spider Tanks We're covering Spider Tanks next, which is a free-to-play game and it's more action-oriented. You can get a Spider Tank that you can modify later on. The one you get is pretty much standard, but that's the beauty of the game. The more resources you get, the more parts you can get. Changing and altering the part of your spider tank is the way to go. You can change the body frame, the weapon, and others. That's because you need to be tough when you compete in the different game modes. The gameplay is very simple because it is similar to a battle arena. You control your spider tank in an isometric view. Depending on the mode, you will have to maneuver your tank in a way where you shoot, but at the same time evade or endure getting shot at. Is the bare basics of any arena battle game where one is trying to to kill you, but you also have to kill them. Much like my family New Year's. Just to name a few of the game modes, we have Team Deathmatch, which is the traditional kill as many as you can as a team. The team with the most kills in the match wins. There's also King of the Hill, where both teams have to compete in capturing an area, and the team that holds on to it until the time runs out wins. The other modes include Capture the Flag, Chicken Chase, Poultry Pusher, I'm seeing a theme here, and Kill Confirmed. In order to make money from this game, you can choose from these options. One way is to just be a pilot and play using the spider tanks. If you don't have your own tank yet, since this is a free game, you can use some of those that are out for rent. 
your winnings will be split between you and the owner. That's the other method where you can be the captain or the owner of a spider tank that you can rent out to other players. Let them play and you just reap the rewards. There are also other means like buying a map where other players can play as well as buying land. But if spiders aren't your thing, then the next game might make you giddy for a different animal. Number 4. Silks we started off with spiders and now we're tackling horses. Silks is an NFT game that incorporates online horse racing. The first thing that you need to know is that the horses are NFTs and they are based on real life horses. We're talking about those horses that participate in actual horse racing and not just a random horse on a farm. Which is too bad because if my main horse Sparks was in this game, all my money would be on him. No joke. To start things off, you need to prepare your Silks avatars. Basically, it's the jockey that you can customize, but the items as well are also counted as NFT. Then you proceed with your horses because they are the ones that you're going to use when it comes to the racing mechanic. Horses are available for players to purchase using real money. Plus, the better the horse, the higher the chances that you can win. An interesting concept as well is that since these horses are based on real life, if ever there are actual horses that are registered as racing horses, a digital clone will be made for silks and will be up for sale. So that means Sparks has a chance. There are other assets like land, farm, and stables. Get your horses, improve your dynasty, and head to the races. Now from one sporting event to another is where our final game lies. Number 5. Battle Infinity Battle Infinity is the combination of all of the four previous games in terms of some aspects and not generally as a whole. It has six games or modes for you to choose from so that you can earn some money. The game uses the iBat as its form of token regardless of what mode you choose. Let's start with the sporting aspect called iBat League and which is where you can create teams of players depending on the sports that you want. It's basically fantasy sports in the digital space. There are also Battle Swap and Battle Stake for those that just want to do the NFT trading aspect. Then the last three modes are related to Battle Arena and Battle Store. Those modes allow you to engage in combat games and others much like any other video game. The last one is Battle Market where players can make NFT items that will be used in Battle Arena and Store. Think of them as cosmetics for when the modes have their own games. Battle Infinity has everything that you would want, or maybe just one of them. That's it for our list of 5 NFT games you can start playing this year. For more content like this and other topics related to the game, feel free to hit the subscribe button and tune in.